Hi guys, this is my review for Season 9, Episode 18, The Tell. So to start out, I have to admit, it took me a while to catch on to the case for this episode. But once I had a relative idea of what was going on, I was on board. Overall, it was an okay case, and I liked that it was a little confusing. Because as I'm watching the teaser, I'm just like, did some average white male just shoot a recurring character? What is happening? And then a few minutes later, Seknav's not dead, and I'm just like, what is going on? It drew me in. It kept me interested. Uh, some highlights, one was definitely when Tony and Ziva captured the smelly hacker. I love Tony complimenting Ziva on her use of the word cahoots. I also love how they brought back the creepy nerdy guy. I don't remember his name, but you know the one I'm talking about. Him and Jamie Lee Curtis were gold, and I also loved her scenes with Ducky and Abby. I like Ryan, but as for her knocking boots with Gibbs, I'm not put off by it but I'm not really shipping it either. I just can't get into it. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I have a feeling it just won't last. I am, though, super intrigued that she seems to be having problems with her ex. I don't know why, but I think it's gonna turn into a big deal. Like, maybe Gibbs will have to beat him into a pulp with a baseball bat. I wonder if we'll, like, meet his son, because we haven't even seen, like, a picture of him yet, but he's been mentioned a bunch of times, and, like, they, we've been at his school, and normally they would have just, like, shown a picture of some kid by now, so I'm wondering if... They're going to cast him and they haven't yet and that's why we actually haven't seen him. Maybe? And also she said in the episode PsyOps that his information was classified and I originally thought this was like to protect him because of his mom's job. But I'm thinking that maybe she has like a crazy ex-husband and she won custody of the son and she's like trying to keep them separated. We'll see. Moving on, this case also brought us Elliot aka Sean Astin aka Samwise the Brave. He was great, and I hope he's in more episodes because he wasn't in this one nearly enough. I mean, he, he was in it, but like, you know, I, I kind of would have liked the whole episode to be about him, but I understand that it couldn't be, so I, I just I hope for more of him in the future. And at one point, he said the line, Happy Feet, and you know who was in Happy Feet, the movie about dancing penguins? That's right, Elijah Wood. Was that on purpose? Also featured in this episode, Tony and Ziva, and we learned that Ziva does not like to be ignored. She feels like someone has put a No Girls Allowed sign on the treehouse, and she is not having it. The Tiva in this episode was okay. I wasn't overly thrilled with it. I'm sorry, I know that that's the unpopular opinion, but I can't help the way I feel. I still love the ship. I just, I didn't get like the fangirly willies I was hoping for. Maybe it was the whole, do you believe in the unexplained? Cause the first time I watched that scene in the squad room, I was like, are we talking about aliens? Because all I am thinking about is like the X-Files. Did the same person who wrote this also write the episodes The Truth Is Out There and X-File? I just don't get the intended vibe from this scene. I mean, I've watched the scene a few times now and all I can think of is like aliens and Santa Claus. I mean, their scenes in this episode together did meet my Tiva quota for this episode because it's usually pretty low and their little flags made it, so that was nice. So I'm going to give this episode four calf pals out of a possible five calf pals. It had some Tiva, it had Samwise, and it was kind of an unconventional episode. As in, oh, it's some random people. Oh my god, a guy's dead. Roll credits. Cut to the squad room where Tony, Ziva, and McGee are setting up the B story. In walks Gibbs. We've got a dead body. Cut to the crime scene, etc., etc., etc. I mean, it wasn't totally different, but it wasn't like a cookie cutter case file episode, which was nice. But despite that, I mean, it's really still only like an average episode. It would have been a three if it wasn't for Sean Astin's cuteness. One final thing, in the scene where they talked about how Ryan's son drew them together on a boat, it got me thinking, is that why Gibbs builds boats? Is it a manifestation of his subconscious desire to escape his life? 